So before we move on to the next page, uh, let's talk about going back a little bit, uh, namely with uh, some buttons. And uh, I'm sure as you're developing your book, you're going to find that um, you're, you're going to probably reuse the same buttons over and over again to uh, either go back to the main menu or uh, continue on to the uh, next page. And I'm going to show you guys a little uh, trick to deal with that because it is going to get a little tiresome to you know basically do the same thing over and over again. Uh, so let's create a new scene file, and you can actually uh, duplicate one of the ones you've already got in here, uh, or uh, I guess I haven't showed you this. Just go over here to File uh, New. I know files getting cut off there, but just uh, go to the top, File New, and then click File again. And if you go under Resource, you can find a new sprite kit scene. So if you want to just create one from scratch. I go over to the top menu. Again, I think the, uh, duplicating is a little bit easier. And um, yeah, so I named this uh, top menu, just kind of implying that that'll be the, it's going to hold on to our menu buttons. Uh, I do want to make this the same size, though, as the iPad scene, or roughly the same size. So I'm going to put in here 2048 by 1536. There we go. Bumps it up quite a bit. And now I'm going to drag out a color sprite. I've imported into the kit uh, two more images. One of them is just going to be called uh, Menu Icon. And I'm going to uh, name this Menu Button, though. Uh, sorry, that was my phone. And then uh, Element is going to be the custom class as usual. And then uh, while you've got that um, selected, just go ahead and copy and paste it. And we'll really quickly make the next button. So this is going to be called next button. And I believe the texture is, there it is, arrow icon. Okay, now check this out. So this is in its own little scene. I'm going to go back over here to my planet core and I'm going to drag out this. It's right about there. And I might have to pan out just a little bit. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I believe I need to save it. Let me delete that. Make sure it is saved. Okay, and that'll be not gray anymore as long as it's saved. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Again, just dragging this out. And there they are. All right, so I'm going to line this right up just at the, well, I could just type it in here. Let's put it at uh, zero and zero. It's really. Um, shouldn't matter so much now that I made some improvements to the uh, touch detection of the buttons inside of uh, other uh, nodes, and this is really just considered a another node. It's it's a technically it's an SK reference node as you're reading over there, uh, but um, uh, yeah, just it's uh, like any of one of our other nodes that can contain children. It essentially has children inside of it, and uh, we can also reference those with the property list. Uh, we don't do anything different for that. So let's go over here to the property list and unfold um, your pages. Let's go over here to Planet Core and under Elements, let's just take one of our other uh, buttons that we've got in here. In fact, I already, um, since I kind of worked ahead, I've already got it in there, I guess. So there's a next button and the touch event is gonna be to, um, well, for right now, we're just gonna open back to, let's, let's send it actually to the cover page all the way back to the beginning. Uh, now you might be thinking, okay, well, let's go ahead and put in the menu button here, but, the menu button, I'm going to go fold all these back up again, could actually get stored inside of this elements dictionary that is inside of the root. So this is not inside one of our pages. Uh, it is a, it's a root dictionary, which um, means that basically the kit, if it doesn't find a reference to the menu button inside of one of your pages, it's going to actually check inside of here. And uh, so let's just go ahead and just put in here menu button. I'm just going to paste that in from the, uh, just copied from the next button. And you can see the touch event is just going to be open page. Go back to the menu. Now this way, you don't have to include any reference to your menu, but menu button on any of the specific pages. Okay. So again, if it can't find it inside of here, then it's going to go, well, all right, let me go and look inside of here and then it's going to go oh there's that menu button okay and the touch event is going to be open page menu so if we were to build this right now and let me switch this off of my wife's ipad go back to the oh, this ipad here too let me build it okay so i'm going to be back at the planet core page and uh let's click on the menu button 
There we go. Back there again. And uh, let's just test out uh, this button as well. Click that. Of course, the simulator is running nice and slow as usual. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's working, obviously. Uh, one thing I should uh, remind you guys of, because I ran into this issue, is that uh, don't always assume that what you see is what you get inside of here in terms of the Z positioning. Uh, I had to take my reference node and uh, go over here and set the Z position up to, I just put it up at something kind of wildly high, 200. But if it's sharing the same Z position as another object, for example, our star background over here, that you know, when you build, they one might be on top of the other one that you you didn't see inside the layout editor. Okay, so now there's um, I just I, and I do kind of want to reiterate that uh, you know the reason uh, that I put the menu button in the root dictionary for the elements is because this is never going to change, but for the next button that was that one is inside of the pages elements dictionary because. From page to page, what's going to change? The touch event, all right, because we're going to move on to a different page each time. Uh, let's uh, let's copy this though and head back over to our menu page, and I'm going to paste this in so right here, and I'm just going to change things around a little bit. Let's um, let's add a continue button to this page. So I'm going to set up the properties first, and I'll do it in the actual page itself. Now. Um, Continuing it's kind of neat. All you have to do is put in here for the touch event continue. Uh, the kid is going to know what to do. It's going to uh, always send you to the last page viewed, but uh, you do have to mark certain pages like the menu and cover as uh, pages that you don't want to kind of store as continuable pages. So inside of your settings, uh, add a new property inside of here, right? Do not mark for continue. And set this to a Boolean value, which just means it's going to be a yes or no. So put in there, uh, yes. And then do the same thing for your cover. And now this way, as soon as you go to one of your other pages, for example, Planet Core, uh, what the kit does kind of under the hood is it just uh, saves an NS user default that remembers, hey, last page was Planet Core. And then that way in our menu, when we hit the continue button, it's always just going to go to whatever that was. So you don't actually have to put in anything over here. Uh, let's go set that up though. And uh, again, I'm just going to copy and paste a little bit. So I'm going to copy our next button. And take that over here to our menu, doo, doo, doo. and just paste that right in. Again, let's be sure that the Z position is nice and high, so it's uh, visible. And then instead of calling this continue button, let's make sure that is named continue button. And of course, double check that the custom class is element. All right, so that should work. And I'm going to build this again for you. Okay, so here we are back at the menu again. I'm gonna hit the uh, little arrow, and sure enough, it uh, automatically sends me back to the last continual page. And there you go, a couple tricks to uh, navigating your book. And uh, yet again, let me show you one more time to get that reference file into your scene, super easy. Have that, the current scene open, and then just drag it on out. And let's put the Z position up, 200. There it is. And of course, you could set up a, a different reference node that is sized a little bit more appropriate for the particular device. No harm in doing that. Okay, see you in the next video.